Yay. Welcome back. Um, first of all, welcome back, everyone. Glad to have you on this journey. Um, we have a Browns fan here to talk all things Cleveland, um, all things fandom, all the things Ohio. Um, you know, you, you might feel like you all are the best team in Ohio. I won't argue with you. Um, but before we get started, I would love for you just to introduce yourself. Let us know how long you've been a fan. Um, and you can tell us really anything that you want us to know. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Alfonso Lee. Um, first and foremost, I'm not an Ohio, Ohio native. Um, I'm from the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., and okay. um, I became a fan um, in 2016 uh, after RG3 was traded to the Browns. Mm -hmm. And um, the logic okay. behind it, I was kind of fed up with my ex, which is the Washington Commanders now, the R words. There's a, a host of reasons on why I jumped ship. Um, I ideally would have liked to gone to a team like the Steelers or the Ravens, but then I would have been called bandwagon at the time because the Browns were like 0-16. They were sorry. So yeah, nobody right. could say I was joining the Browns to be a bandwagon fan um, because all, all of a sudden they did start winning in a couple of seasons, which we'll get into. Um, but uh, during that period of time, I, I followed RG3. I was kind of fed up with how they were treating the quarterbacks. Uh, Dan Snyder was uh, an a-hole, as we, we come to find out. Um, so I made a good decision and, and put myself in, like, exile um, by going to a, another bad team at the time, which was the Browns. And um, I have a video where I went to Synergy Field. I was in Cleveland for a wedding. I, I went in and said, hey, I'm, I'm – I'm, I'm, I'm making my fandom to the Cleveland Browns because of some other reasons that I'll get into. Um, that is why so awesome. I follow the the Cleveland Browns now. I love this. I love mm -hmm. the the I once was here, I once was lost, and now I found story of like, yeah. Did you follow RG three when he was at Baylor, or did you just start following him to? Cleveland because he was with the Com Washington Commanders, I think is their name now. Simply because he came to Washington. Um, that first okay. year was amazing. Yeah. Um, if if you know the AFC North uh, Ravens were the people that uh, the team that kind of ended our run um, yep. when I was in, uh, in Washington when Nagata hurt RG3 and um, mm -hmm. that kind of went downhill for RG3 as far as his, his personal uh, career uh quarterback wise with that injury and so you go two three years dealing with Gruden and Snyder he gets traded to Cleveland um there was a there's a a racial dynamic where I, I um follow black quarterbacks and support black quarterbacks I even like Same. Lamar Odom I like I mean not Lamar Odom um Lamar Jackson mm -hmm. um Mike Tomlin I, I'm a full supporter of Mike I think he's one of the greatest coaches ever um those are just because I, I, I support um, black people in general. Yeah, um, no, I it agree. Is, <laughs> it is what it is um, to whoever uh, who has an opinion otherwise. But um, Hugh Jackson was the coach, a black coach. Mm, uh, right. Tasha Brown was. was the front office person at the time. Uh, there, It was just pretty much a black quarterback, a black head coach and a black front office personnel guy there and um there's a, a tie to my alma mater which is morgan state um where stump mitchell was the running back coach or at some point became the running back coach and so he was the football coach during my tenure at morgan state and so i, I it was just like all the stars aligned for me to become a cleveland browns fan that's nice um if you don't if you don't want to answer this don't answer this um mm -hmm. when did you graduate from morgan state uh 2004. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Um, it's so cool. So you orange is like your color because Morgan State is orange, aren't they? You're in orange. I got a lot of yeah <laughs> throughout my home. Um, I'm in my man cave now, uh, watching the games, and so uh, the blue and orange. It, it was an easy, easy pick. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so, how has it been being a Browns fan? So you said 2016. Um, that those were, you know, kind of not kind of they were the dark days. I think they were winning like one in two games back then. So how mm -hmm. has it been progressing from that 
to where they are now because now they're relevant. I mean, no matter what you say, well, they're relevant. Well, I have I have a lot of bragging rights when it comes to the NFC East, which are the Eagles, Giants, all the rivals of my old teams, and we beat Washington. So um, throughout the the seasons when we did play um, the watch uh, the NFC East. Those were my main concerns. And then, of course, against the Steelers and Ravens, we split a couple of the seasons. And, of course, this particular uh, uh, past year, um, Ravens, you know, got the best uh, up by the end of the season. And uh, yeah. I think Steelers, we had the toughest division. I mean, I think all, all four teams damn near could have been uh, in, the, in the mm -hmm. playoffs. I always say it's the tough division in football, toughest division in football. And I always tell somebody, argue with me that we don't have the best quarterbacks, especially now what the Steelers have done with like adding Wilson, like each quarterback in our division when healthy could almost go to toe to toe with any quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. I, I would only reserve it to look right now to Lamar, just to be honest, Lamar Jackson is the only one I think is up there. Um, I don't think anybody, um, Deshaun hasn't proven himself yet. I'm waiting, hopefully healthy. He's going to prove himself. I am, and that's probably going to go into one of the, the later uh, in, uh, questions, is um, I, I feel good about Jameis Winston. And a lot of – he's a national oh, treasure. Oh, I like him. And I think yeah. he's going to, at some point, if Deshaun flames out or is not who we thought he was, I think Jameis is going to surprise us and uh, be a good backup um, and step in if, if, if Deshaun goes down. So let's get into it. So let's talk free agency, um, because obviously um, that is when you all got Jameis Winston. By the way, love Jameis. I love, like, I, I don't know. I, like, I can't cheer against the guy. He just seems like a good guy. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, but how was free agency for you all? Who do you feel like is going to make an impact? How are you feeling about some of the pickups Um that you all had, or are you feeling bad about anybody you lost? Like, how are you feeling overall you all did in free agency? Um, I, I think we were fine. I think as is fine because the issue was we did, we had, what, four different starting quarterbacks last yeah. uh, season. So having some stability at the quarterback position, I think, was the only thing that we had to fix. Chubb went down in the beginning of the season. We didn't have a, a, run, a run, us, starting think. running back. So yeah. we literally had a, a, a decent season with four different quarterbacks are not our starting uh, running back with Chubb. We had to resign a uh, Kareem hunt in the middle of the season, um, which he, we, we knew he, you know, he had to leverage um, once we, when Chubb went down that yeah. eventually we was going to re resign him um, to uh, out of uh, 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 free agency because um, had to. we had, you know, we had, we had, we, we were, playoff contenders without yeah. a quarterback. And the fact that Flacco comes in and, and and puts us on a run shows pretty much how how good our defense is. Agreed. Our defense is is probably top top two um hands down. And nobody's really gonna argue that we had the best defense um throughout the whole last season and we just needed an offense to carry us and we didn't have our starting quarterback or a running back. So as far as free agency, any additions, uh, I think the Judy pickup he, I, I don't like him because of his running with Steve Smith. Um, I don't know if you recall they had got into it when he basically was saying Judy was mid with the Broncos. Yeah, like before he the game or something Broncos. like that. Yeah, and so yeah. that's just a you know pers personality thing. But as far as him being uh, a, 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 a third wide receiver, that I mean that's a great pickup. I mean I at the end so of the too. day, if if Deshaun can get him the ball, um, we have a, a, a slot or a third option of a wide receiver that's going to, um, you know, do damage. I, I agree. I think the Browns, it, it's always interesting. I always say this. I mean, obviously being a Steelers fan, you kind of pay attention to what your people in your division are doing. And I, I do agree. I do think him being a third option, um, especially like, I don't know if I'm one of the few people that still believes in Deshaun Watson and what he can do and what he's capable of doing. Um, but, you know, like, again, always you got to prove it inside of the white lines. Like nothing else really matters until you go out there and show that you can do it. And, you know, TBD. I mean, selfishly, I'm like, hey, figure it out against everybody but the Steelers. Um, but I'm I'm hoping Sorry. he kind of, you know, gets it gets it going a little better. Um, what about the draft? How do you feel like your team did in the draft? Did you have like a favorite pick? Um, I don't think you guys had any picks in the first round. 
Is that wrong? Did I make that up? Mm -hmm. No, no, like literally we're um, hope, <laughs> celebrating what we're going to do next year. <laughs> the, the okay, okay. I was like, I don't think, yeah, I think there was, okay, I think there was like a couple of teams that didn't have a pick in the first, or maybe it was just, I don't, it doesn't matter. So how do you feel like you all did? Was there any pick that you were like, yes, yeah. I'm so glad we got this guy, we needed him, or was there anybody that you were super excited about, or anybody that you were like, why did we do this? <laughs> Nothing, nothing that would stick out to me. I'm not that versed as far as the 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 draft picks. Okay. Um, I was the 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 uh, Jameis Winston, the Judy, and I think uh, we got a a, a center. Uh, I think his name is Allen. Either the 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 uh, the center that we got for the O line, um, I think was a good pickup. Um, that, you know we had some guys that retired um over the past couple of seasons. Uh, I think it was Alex Mack. Was one of our um, long, long time. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know Alex. Line. I didn't know Alex Mack retired. He retired. So this. So he retired yeah. last year. Yeah, let me make sure of that. Okay. Fact and then did, that. did you all get um, the? Okay. Yeah, you're right, Jamin. Okay, that's right. You're right. Yeah, I didn't realize. 40, he went to the forty miners. 13 years. A, yeah, he went to the 49ers for his last season. But okay. they had to definitely replace him at center. And so, uh, let me see how long when did he leave? And then I, I know Either that... Either way, uh, I'm trying to see what Yeah, you know, I think that you're, you're, you're right. It's, it's interesting. I remember, so back when the Browns were really building. Um, one of the things they always had was a great offensive line. They always were solid. They were consistent. The Joe Thomases, the Joe, I think, Batonio, like all of those guys, like they were solid. Um, and so it's it's cool to to hear that some of those guys have finally moved on because they're gone. <laughs> well, I, with what? Chubb coming back, um, he – He's definitely thrived behind whatever offensive line that we've had. So mm -hmm. um, he's good. So how is he coming along with injury? Do they think he's going to be ready week one? Is it going to be? Does he need more time than that? What are they saying about timeline? Let me see. Do you know, and, uh, not offhand, but I, that's what Google's for. Okay. Yep. And then you mentioned Jameis Winston. So are you one of the fans that is like secretly hoping he comes in and takes? Um, he takes what's his name's job, or are you like he's serviceable? So if we need him, he can be a second a second string guy. Oh no, I'm not I'm not that where I want to see the demise of of Deshaun at all. Um, okay. I, the only thing with his uh, that contract um, that he got is just Massive. you know <laughs> I hope I hope that all the money that he's getting. Um, oh, so they said uh, Chubb is progressing nicely. So cool. he should be ready for them. But uh, as it relates to uh, Deshaun, I want him to thrive. I, whatever I saw at Houston, I thought that's what we were going to get in, 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 in Cleveland. So um, yeah. I want him to thrive. But if uh, he gets injured or he's just not cutting it, to have Jameis to come in and step in is, you know, a win-win for me. It's it's a win-win situation where um, I thought Jameis could have started on a lot of teams last season. I agree. Um, uh, over some of the people, <laughs> he could have he could have played for the Jets. I, I I thought that the Jets would have made a move for him. Um, yeah. And and picked them up. Um, there are some other teams that had terrible quarterbacks, but it just goes to my. You got to be uh, 30 times better to get treated like, um, you know, some of these tenured uh, backup uh, white quarterbacks. Um, yeah. And I think Jameis, um, he always gets penalized for throwing 30 interceptions his first first season. And then, and then you make the comparison to Peyton Manning, and, and then everybody forgets to stop bringing that up. So I think he's been a, a solid quarterback um, to the extent where, if Deshaun goes down, I think he could pick right up and and, and carry. If if Chubb is healthy, Kareem is still there. The uh, Judy Najoku, is, who's who I'm referring to, is the second um, um, best receiver. Oh, when Najoku! I say oh my gosh! Yes. Yeah. How did I forget about yeah, him? So, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> he's, he's, he, I, he would be number one if um, uh, Coop um, wasn't there. But we have a solid receiving core, solid running back. 
um, core. Um, and we have, I, I think, I think uh, even uh, the third string guy, who's the other black quarterback, third string guy. Let me look. Um, but we picked them up from free agency as well. So I think we have three quarterbacks Solid. that can um, run the offense um, and manage the game. Because at this point, Deshaun, Jameis, they're they're not the focal points of of this team. The defense is right. is, is what's going to carry us, and um, the running game. And, and so yeah. all you have to do is don't, don't turn the ball over, and <laughs> um, and run the ball down. You know, half the the, the NFL's throat. I agree. I agree. Um, what are you, what's your biggest concern heading into the season? Like what is something that you are worried about as a Browns fan where you're kind of thinking, Oh, well, I don't, health. I don't know. <laughs> yes, health. I mean, last health. season was a, a injury field, like literally four That's different quarterbacks bad. started for the Cleveland. So the fact that we were contending and all these other teams, like I'm like people, the Washington, I have to talk to Washington, Dallas fans, Giants fans, Eagles fans in my area. Cause I'm in, uh, DC um, to to say that you know that you you're rebuilding every uh, you have you've had 30 quarterbacks in the last um, 20 30 years um, you look at other teams they've had you know one or two um, it's one of those situations where you you know you just look at it like um, can we have some stability at quarterback and that's why I, I don't uh -oh. look at the demise you're frozen the on my end am I frozen on your screen okay. Let me see. Am I frozen on your screen? No, let me see. Let me see if I can fix it. I know sometimes, like, oh, you're back. I know sometimes, like, when people okay. freeze, you get it's never a pretty shot. It's always like a random looking one. So I wanted, to, yeah. I didn't want to leave you out uh, there like that. Yeah, like it just, it's weird. I usually, because I talk with my hands a lot, I get stuck in like a, or like a weird, a weird thing. So, um, okay. So you were saying health is a big one. Um, is there, how do you all look? Um, who's, I know what I want to ask and I'm like getting ahead of myself. How do you all look on the defensive line? Do you know, or like, cause I know obviously Miles Garrett is there, but did you all get any big free agents, um, on the defensive mm -hmm. line or did y'all just so remain the same and you're already good to go? Because I think, I mean, obviously, you all had a great defense last year. I'm not saying you needed to get anybody. I'm just curious of if you did pick anybody up. Because I think, um, you know what? I, I think that's where your draft picks went. <clears throat> no, that I think the reason why we were in the position that we were in for the draft is because we went all in on the defense. And um, it spoke for okay. itself like it was a good move. Um, again, yeah, it was great. We, it, it it's no way you prepare for losing your starting quarterback and starting running back at the beginning of the season. Um, yeah. The defense literally carried the team to the playoffs. So, um, I mean, and and there's one play. Um, if 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 I go back um, against Kansas City where there was a helmet to helmet um, play, I think Browns would have went to the Super Bowl that year with uh, Baker. Um, and, I, and I despise, I don't like Baker at all, but um, because he talked bad about you. Was um, oh, was that the, the was that the that year time? that was the year they beat Pittsburgh, right? They beat Pittsburgh at Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and then their next game, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what's it so was a you know helmet to helmet call. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. I think the interesting thing about the Browns is. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if this is real or this is just like something I make up in my head, but I feel like there are certain organizations that they always get close and then something happens. Like the refs are kind of like, uh, no, we would rather like this team or this team. And I, and I feel like sometimes the Browns are on the receiving end of the, we would rather this bigger team than the Browns. And again, I could not be just making this up in my head, but I feel like there's been a couple of times where I'm like, did, did the Browns get just get screwed over? <laughs> did, did it, did, like, did that just happen? Did uh, everybody I wouldn't. Else watch that? I wouldn't put it in that in that far into it. It was a it was a miss. It was a bad or a missed call. Um, they they uh the it caught basically it was a helmet to helmet, but he fumbled the ball out of bounds and, and we lost the possession. Yeah. Um, and that 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 significantly changed the game. But as far as that, I think um the Bills or if they're favoring the Bills or the Chiefs to win 
uh, every year. I don't think that they're just they're just that good. I mean, at the end of the no, day, I give them hundred percent. Um, you know, I will I, I, I will talk I, I, trash about the Chiefs because mm -hmm. like they're champions that are it's literally our job to talk trash about them because why not? Like <laughs> who else are we can who right. else can we all collectively come together and talk about? Um, but I will never say they're not good. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like I'll give them their credit, right. but I also am just kind of like, I'm so tired of this. Um, and I did talk to a Browns fan and I was to like, your, hey, we're all your, we're all cheering for you. <laughs> Yeah, to your point though, um, and this is me not even before I was a um, Browns fan. This is goes back to Kozar and, and Biner, um, Ernest Biner fumbling um, at the goal line. Um, that's just you know that's just a curse for the Browns that yep. you know they're they're play they are play away from the Super Bowl, play away from the the uh, conference finals, two back to back years. Um, I, I I mean I I could I. I feel for them, but they probably would have got smashed anyway because um, <laughs> we smashed the Broncos. Um, and this is, you know, my ex I'm referring to right. um, with the Washington R words. Um, but <laughs> during those those days, um, uh, we, you know, I, I enjoyed. We, I was I was part of a winning franchise um, during the late '80s and um, and '91. And That's so, fair. I, I will be um, honest and say my dad used to be a huge. Um, it, down here, they call them the Washington racial slurs. Um, that's oh, just okay. like the way that they, because it's still an R and whatever. Um, but my right. same, my dad was huge, 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 huge um, Washington fan. Um, okay, okay. So I, I, yeah, like he used to always say, like I don't know, and sometimes still my brother will kind of say, like I don't know if we're ever going to be able to see the things that we got to see a long time ago, but. You know, and it listen, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. Um, they they're doing the right things, in my opinion. So they'll they'll figure it out. Um, we'll see. So well, I'm here, assuming you oh go ahead. Well, I'm saying, well, here's here's the kicker. I, I um with my family and friends and all stuff down here that are Washington Commanders fans now, I put up three stipulations because they always saying you, you're coming back, you're gonna become a fan. There's no way you're gonna stay a Cleveland Browns fan. And I put up three things that I thought um, would not happen within, you know, a reasonable amount of time. And that okay. was changing of the name. Up oh, happened. They changed the name. Yeah. Dan Snyder has to not be the owner again because he ever since he cursed it, it they've gone downhill. Yep. Happened. Got rid of Dan Snyder. <laughs> and the third was that they have to move the team back to D.C., Oh, okay. Okay. They just approved not two, but almost two, three days ago to demolish RFK, Robert uh, uh, Kennedy's uh, stadium, and um, the proposal to build in Virginia and stuff like that is, is, is not in the works. So there's a possibility that the third stipulation of me returning to Washington may happen and they move them back into DC and play in DC, um, which was the last time. You know, we were winning. That's that's how it was. That's where you know? it was. So, so would that be the enough, though? Like, if let's say today they came out and said, like, we're doing it. Here's the stadium. We're starting building. We're breaking ground in 2025. Would you immediately mm -hmm. say, perfect? That's all I needed, and I'm coming back? Or would you nah. need to kind of see some things? Nah, I I, I, I kind of have like I have a background on on how the things work, and so okay. Um, the lease is not up <laughs> until another okay, so many cool. amount of years. If they buy okay. the lease out, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen within Perfect. probably the next 10 years. Um, so I'll probably be a Browns fan right up until um, we win the Super Bowl next season. There which, it is. <laughs> which, listen, every per, uh, not every team I've talked to, some, te some teams know they're probably yeah. not. Um, but almost everyone's like, it's okay. We'll be better than we were last year. We're going to win. We're going to do this. And I'm like, I got it. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, so the other, the other question is about the schedule. So as the time of this recording, the schedule has not come out, although leaks are coming out and assumptions are being made, which is great. Um, mm -hmm. What, what games on the schedule as a Browns fan, do you kind of go, Oh gosh, okay. We have to see these guys or, okay, this will be a tough game. You know, obviously we don't know what the, when the games are, but do you have any like prelim? preliminary thoughts um on what you think about the schedule oh um definitely um 
Bills are out of there, so we don't have to worry about the Bills no more because Stephon Diggs is gone. And, I, and I've, I've been a, a firm believer that Stephon Diggs made uh, Josh Allen. Um, Josh Allen you, is, oh, is a great can quarterback. I just, can I just say something? I mm -hmm. thought that, and then mm -hmm. I talked to a Bills fan, and the mm -hmm. way that they're looking at things, that's why I love doing this. Like, mm -hmm. I hear you because I was right there with you, and then after I talked to him, I was like, Okay, I didn't. But anyways, continue what you continue your theories. <laughs> I think Josh Allen is a great quarterback, but yeah, I do believe good. that it, it coincided with the obtaining Stefan Diggs at the right okay. time. And now that if Stefan Diggs um, won it out, he saw something that the other Bills fan didn't see. And so and a okay. lot of people from the outside, uh, you can you can see the frustration on Diggs and, and, and during a lot of those games. Um, and, and it's just across the NFL, they want to make the quarterback look good. And the the person you're supposed to be getting the ball to, whether it's a, a, a hitch, a screen, or whatever, there to make play make, they want to make it look good for the quarterback. And so I, like I think I think that's Diggs, that was Diggs' frustration on why he wanted out. Um, because at the end of the day, why would you leave a team where you're one or two games from winning a Super Bowl? There has to be a disconnect with the quarterback. And so yep. I believe, okay. I believe there's, there's nobody, I don't think there's going to be anybody that's going to be able to replace Diggs at the end of the day. And so I don't think Buffalo is going to be a threat next, next season. Um, I might be okay. wrong. Fair. Um, I like it. No, listen, this is, <laughs> listen, this is fandom. So you okay. say what you believe, and that is the truth for this, okay? <laughs> like, whatever you think, that's what we're going with. <laughs> I um, like it. Okay. Who else Who else is on the schedule? The, Raven, the Ravens is, is, is the big game. Um, I think uh, Deshaun versus Lamar is going to be a, a good um, uh, uh, week, whether uh, here uh, in up in Baltimore or in Cleveland. That's going to be, like, game time. Of yeah. course, the Steelers. Um, depending on what, what's going to go on with your quarterback situation, we don't um, know. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, but again, Tomlin, <laughs> Tomlin figures stuff out. So every time That's I it. think Steelers is not going to, they somehow they're <laughs> knocking on the door of the playoffs every goddamn season. So um, I, I can't rule out That's the Steelers. My <laughs> <laughs> and um, and Burles is, is 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 back. So um, mm. uh, it's. It's gonna be a, a, everything within the division. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen with uh, San Diego. I'm trying to think of with Herbert. I kind of see them kind of getting their stuff together in the AFC. And of yeah, because we play Chiefs. what AFC West this year. AFC. I think so. Yeah. Chargers, so. Chiefs, Raiders, Chargers, Chiefs, Raiders. This fandom is gonna give me Raiders, Chief, Broncos. Yeah, I don't think Bron uh, Broncos. Yeah, I don't think anybody. Broncos. Sean Payton uh, put his, his his foot in his mouth too many times, and yeah. I don't think I don't think too many people want to play for him. They're going to ride him out um, at some point. Uh, he's going to probably mess up. You know, yeah. I like your takes. I, like your takes. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, outside from the skill, people like would just say shut up and just play football and just talk about football. But there are a lot of dynamics to a person so playing play football. So um, if politics or, um, you know, your your anger management, a lot All of that, of, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't know how to talk to your players, you're going to lose the locker room. So if you have that dysfunction um, and I'm a, a opposing team, I'm, I'm going to see that. I'm going to see that um, they have dysfunction and we don't have that dysfunction. So I think yeah. um, Stefanski and, and the quarterbacks that they he has, he's going to rock out with his quarterbacks. But I think Sean Payton has kind of burned the bridge with a lot of people on how he treated Russell Wilson, and I don't think Broncos are gonna um, even be a factor this year. Um, Raiders, I, I, I love want. That. That's yeah, I, I oh, Pierce, I'm sorry. Um, oh, just with the Raiders, um, I think they're uh, they have a good momentum going into next season. Mm -hmm. They have mm -hmm. uh, um, they the, it goes to the whole locker room that they supported Pierce, um, Davis, uh, the 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 ownership they. They, they bought in. So I think the Raiders got a good situation coming in. Just just the whole dynamic of Vegas and everything like that is is, is, is just something I would look forward to going to a game if 
you know, if the game is going to be in, in Las Vegas and stuff, yeah. any, with any team to be for that matter. I love that. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I hadn't thought about the way that you talked about Sean Payton mm -hmm. until you talk, until you said it. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that concerns me, but Mike Tomlin does super well is he's been our coach for, I don't know, 15, 17, 18 years, however long it's been. And I always, I'm always concerned that, you know, you have to adjust, right? The game changes, the people change, the league gets younger, you get older. So there's all these weird dynamics. Um, Tomlin, I think can do it. He can hang, he can, he can adjust. He, you know, that he's a leader. He can do what he needs to do. I don't know if Sean Payton can, because the quarterback he had previously was very buttoned up and very, you know, the guys, he, he was the guy. Right. And so I, so I, I, what you said is interesting. I don't think I've thought about it. Um, I'm going to ask a Broncos fan. I haven't talked to a Broncos fan yet, but I think that that's a really good point. And I never thought about that. Well, if, if, if Bill Belichick isn't, didn't get a, a job that, that just tells you as far as the league is moving on um, to the next tenure and the yeah. old or the, the mid mid in between the old school and the new school coaches that yeah. were in between maybe all uh, uh, fizzling out as well. And then it's the new age uh, coddle coaches now. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. With, 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 with you sports up until now, we coddling a lot of, a lot of stuff and being more, uh, uh, what's, what's, what we use in, in the employment world now is that, you know, you try to have work-life balance with your players now. And, um, you know, if you want to take off and their needs load and their management needs and stuff is, in the NBA, yeah. like we're doing a lot of stuff to be more accommodating to the players. And True. it's not a dictatorship no more because people are going to hold out. They're going to um, mm -hmm. um, test, you know, test the waters, free agency. They're going to fake an injury and not play if they don't get what they want. So um, a lot of players have a lot of power now. And that that puts a, a monkey wrench in a coach who, who, who leads – with authority um and, yeah. and, and dictatorship so if you I can't agree. get be like tomlin I'm, I'm out you know i'm always gonna give him his props if you can't get the players to buy in and um and kind of respect to say hey even though i disagree with you coach tomlin um i respect you so much that i'm just gonna have to listen you know i, yeah. and I don't want to hurt the team um as probably somebody like having antonio brown in the locker room yeah uh, to taking pictures or videos during you know, a speech and stuff like that. So he's gonna, you know, he's, he knows to get rid of the cancers out of his locker room. Yeah. So that's why you guys are always, you know, even if you're mid, you're you still competing um, at the yeah. end of the day. I, I always say our good. mid, our mid is better than everybody else's mid. We, do mid, we do mid well. And I think it's because <laughs> leadership. I think yeah. leadership. I think leadership always pushes you one way or another. You could have the best team possible. But if you don't have good leadership, then it doesn't matter. Um, I had one more question for you. And usually I ask people, like, do you have anything else to share? So you can also answer that question. But I do just I'm just curious to know, um, how do Browns feel about the head coach? Uh, Stefanski, Steve Stefanski? Yeah, Stefanski. How, how do you all feel about him um, as a fan base? Um, I don't. I will be, I, I, I'm, I'm going to admit this because the people who know me and love me would be like, you weren't real. When the Browns lose, I do go to Browns Twitter and I follow the hashtag because no fan base is funnier when their team loses than the Browns. Wow. Like, I got to start if, following there. <laughs> if you ever, whenever the Browns lose, give it about whenever they know they're going to lose. Just, I'm telling you right now, like you have to take your feelings out of it. Obviously, you're a Browns fan. So you like it is mm. the funniest, straightforward. They just let it out. <laughs> well, I mean, they're the originator of the brown they paper do. bags. I mean, they do. I was, they, they've, they've gone through a lot of misery before I even um, came on board. Yes. But I, what yes. I will say in the Stefanski's defense, and is what I kind of preached at the beginning, um, you, it's, you can't blame the coach for losing his starting running back and his starting okay. quarterback. Love and that. the fact that he adjusted with four different quarterbacks, I'm actually impressed by him. Um, I, I, okay, I, I, cool. I wish I was like, we had, we had, we won with, he, he, he plugged uh, the, the, the young guy in, um, I can't think of his name, the black the, the black guy. I know the quarterback. Yeah. Cause he beat yeah. us. I know exactly what you're talking about. He beat us. Yeah. And so, John, and I don't, I, the fact that was 
four different quarterbacks we were able to win with. Not four different quarterbacks we lost with, but four different cards we were able to win with and then yeah. bring Flacco off the couch. I mean, his kids were throwing Legos at his head and he was sitting on the couch and we bring him off the couch and and it gets goes against the Ravens. And wins. No, that's I, co- that's coaching. That's coaching. I, I agree. Um, I think like I said, I think sometimes my views get tainted because like mm-hmm. I do, I do. I'm telling you right now, thank me later. As soon as the Browns, I kid you not. I will go and I will hashtag Browns and I just got to hear it. Like, and, and, and it's in a way though, it's cool because now Browns fans have expectations. It didn't Mm -hmm. used to be like that. They used to just be like, of course we lost. Now they have expectations. And when you have expectations, it cuts a little deeper, you know, and you're a little bit more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. So anyways, if you, if you take anything away from this conversation, just know, go to Browns Twitter. when you guys lose a game? (laughs) funny got it, got it. um so i will end this here um I, do you have anything else that you want to share anything that i said i was going to talk about or i didn't talk about or just anything um anything really that anything else you want to share about the browns uh no i'm i'm a, I'm a newer fan so there there may be a cleveland browns fan or a couple that will say well he's not really a browns fan just know that I'm, oh, I'm, I'm locked in i'm i'm a, a loyal fan um to a t right now and uh, again, if I if I do leave, I'll announce it prior to. But it won't be it won't be because of bandwagonism or anything like that. It's just I got back with my ex. Um, and, yeah, you know, she's 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 acting right and stuff like she's- that. But right now, I'm, I'm with my new my my new girl and your and new she, boo. Yeah, she's she, she, she's she's all right. She's doing good. Like I like it. I like you, it. You might walk down the altar and just and get a Super Bowl ring maybe next season. So. Um, That's awesome. That might change everything. I, 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 yeah. I, I, I can't leave after that. Like, I might, well, yeah. If she does that, you're gonna be like, Commanders, who that? Who? who? Yeah. Like, I yeah. don't know them. I, <laughs> I upgraded. You stay well, that's awesome. Well, listen, I appreciate you coming on and talking about the Browns. I feel mm-hmm. like if you're a fan of a team and you can mm-hmm. talk about that team, like that's your team. Now, if you're a fan of like everybody, like then I have a problem. Um, and I'm gonna be real with you. If you were a Browns fan of 2016, you're in there. So oh, okay. just because somebody might be a fan since 2000, it's not like the yeah. organization was much better. So it's like, yeah, that you picked at a bat. They, I don't, I think they first they two seasons, did 16. they win like zero to, yeah, I'm like zero got game, the last, two games. I think the last game he won the game and um, they, they said he wasn't going to win a game. He ended up being the reason they won that one game. Yeah. So yeah. you stuck through that. You're a fan. I don't care what anybody yeah. says. So and I and I, I bought that jersey. So uh, and I, I that's not that wasn't a that was when he first got it. So I paid full price for it. And I can't get my money back for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I'm, I'm keeping it and it, and um, hopefully uh, I'm able to put it. I can't fit it now anymore. And, and, and I, I put on life. Since then, Sometimes so life, you know, it's um, okay. It's okay. <laughs> I, I definitely uh, when I when I joined the Browns, I went all in. I bought all the paraphernalia, but I got. Hats and stuff from the 2016 season. Um, I kind of fizzled when that with the Baker situation. I was um, lukewarm with him, but I'm glad he's gone and he's doing good in in, in Tampa. Um, but I like the situation. I like the I like the entire roster. Nice Joku. Um, the whole defense. Uh, Peoples um, when we had him. Um, Kareem Hunt, Chubb, Jameis Peppers. Um, Peppers, um, but who's my guy? Um, you have Miles a, Garrett. Uh, yeah, Miles Garrett. Without saying, but they're they're a secondary is actually decent as well. Second, no, the whole the whole defense is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, and and yeah. the it's I always say this, and I like people will probably listen to all these episodes are gonna be like, if she doesn't stop talking about the AFC North, um, mm-hmm. the AFC North plays the, the best football. I mean, four and teams don't, actually could have been in the playoffs. Yeah, and you don't. It's not. It, Yes, we have stars, but it's usually the other guys that are making impact um, because the stars are going to do what they're supposed to do. But it's the other guys that will step in. Um, you know, will there'll be an amazing left tackle somewhere? There'll be an amazing linebacker somewhere. Like it's like these random spots that make us good teams, and it just is what it is. If you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> Well, if I uh, if I do buy a jersey going into next season, it's going to be Jameis Winston's. Just like, even if he doesn't uh, play, um, I, 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 like just, I just 
I, I like what he did uh, with the guy getting him the uh, touchdown so he could uh, meet I his quota. Too. I did too. Um, so, like and a lot of people didn't like that, but I, that's people that play the sports, guy. they know, yeah, uh, you know what that, that's about. So, yep, team guy. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Well, awesome. Thank you for joining. Um, thank you for scheduling. Thank you for like just taking the time to do this. Um, I know basketball was on. I heard it when I started. So, I appreciate <laughs> you fitting me in. I know how that goes. So, no, thank you. It was um, an honor. Yeah, no problem. Well, thank you.